Yo, yo, what's going on everybody? Anderson Blue, and in this week's video, we're headed to London for the Anderson Blue tour. This time around, we have a special video for you. When I say special, I'm talking about what happens when, I mean, nothing goes right during our trip. We try to visit Big Ben, does that happen? You'll find out. We try to check out the world's biggest Ferris wheel, the London Eye, and we also set up for another big sneaker con. Trust me guys, I really want you guys to watch this. This is gonna show you how real business happens, how you handle it, and how you make the best out of it. All right guys, let's go. All right guys, so next stop is Big Ben. I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally be here. Um, as soon as I found out Secret Con was coming to London, this was one of the first stops I knew I had to come to. I just remember growing up in school, seeing so many photos of the clock tower. Um, I've seen, seen it so many times in movies, and you can only imagine my face when I finally get here and I see it's under construction. Um, it is what it is, it's supposed to be under construction for another few years, so that sucks. Um, you can take a look at the infrastructure, you literally can't see anything, you just see them building. But right next door we have the parliament, so we're going to go check that out also. It's another hot spot that I heard we need to go check out, and that's about it. You already know, we're on the clock, so we're going to keep it moving and show you what is around London that you need to see. So. Next stop, we are at the Parliament, which is actually attached to Big Ben. Um, lucky for us, not everything's under construction as you can see. Parliament's known for many things, but one of the number one things it's known for is its beauty and architecture. If you just take a look, look how beautiful this whole building is. Like I said, unfortunately, it's still under construction, but I'm just happy that we get to see a little bit of it. Like I said, guys, we're on the clock, so we're gonna keep it pushing. Yo, yo, what's going on everybody? Right now we're at South Bank Market. Today the food market is open. Today is Friday from five to eight o'clock at night. A whole bunch of vendors are bringing some of their best food out. I'm talking a little bit of Caribbean, a little bit of Asian, a little bit of everything in between. I'm super excited. I am starving. I'm gonna walk around, try to find some of the best food in the area. You ready, bro? Bro, <laughs> you ain't no time. <laughs> you? Okay, dog, break it down to me. What we got here? All right, so right now what we have here is a duck bow. We have a little bit of sesame seeds on there, special sauce with sriracha. I think they threw a little bit of. I know it's not less. Forget the word. Is it, is it paisley? Is it? Uh, that looks like you see the parsley or. I think you're right. It's parsley. It's parsley or something else, um, but yeah, in coriander. I there you go. Took a little bit of parsley on there, but it looks it looks good. Not gonna lie, I'm excited. This is the first one up, so you know we're gonna start a little light, but let's find we're out. Starting real light. That sauce is good. We have high expectations of uh, bows, though. Yeah, we do. Australia, Shanghai, all ruined it. This is the best food we've had. <laughs> I feel bad you can't eat this, bro. I'm sorry. Solid? Nah, no, this is a good start. This is a good day. One to five it right now. You got one more taste than you. One more bite. It's easily, it's easily a solid, like, four. It ain't life-changing, but I just put a pep in my stuff. I say that. I feel like Pops. I think you're looking good. <laughs> Make sure to throw that Pops uh, gif in there. But uh, yeah, really good, on to the next one. Let's see what else we can find. Thanks guys, free to sample, you must That should look good though. So we got to talk about the heritage today. <laughs> today. <laughs> Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Very good stuff, right? What's in this? A uh, Isabara homemade squash bonnet sauce. Ooh. Same level of habanero chili. Okay. Ooh, now, where are we at right now? What's the next so, right spot? now, look at this spot. Curry shack. 
come over from over here. So right now we're at the Curry Shack. I don't know if I've ever said this on video, but I'm gonna say it today. I am Caribbean, so is Kamali. My family's from Trinidad, not Tobago, just the Trinidad side, my mom and my dad. So I grew up on meals like this. Right now what we have is, how am I actually gonna say it? Hot spicy curry. Um, See? Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just walked away without paying for the food. <laughs> but, back to what I was saying. So right over here, we, we are at the Curry Shack. Um, I don't know if I talk about it much on video, but I'm talking about it right now. So my background is I'm Caribbean, my family's from the islands, I am Trinidadian, both my mom and my dad's side. So whenever I see anything that is catered to my background or, or catered to what I'm used to with my family, I definitely have to get it. Today, right now, I'm having the hot Cajun garlic chicken and I had a little taste tester and it tastes amazing, so I really can't wait to dive into this. Let's see what we got. Tastes like home. This is good. <laughs> Spicy as shit. Ooh. Lord, I might get some water. Mm. That's good though. But from a place that's very, very far from the islands, this is not too bad. Not bad at all. But alright guys, we're gonna keep walking around. I'm not gonna get stuff off of this. I'm gonna see what else I can get. Uh All right, guys, I got an amazing looking cookie over at Galetta. What I have right here is white chocolate mixed with toffee and I think chocolate chips also. So, I don't know. I'm excited. Let's see what it's about. Is it soft? A little bit. It's not bad. This is something that definitely needs to be warm. <laughs> but it's pretty good, though. I'm all about it. You're not finishing that. Nope. <laughs> this is the last bite. After this, we're gonna stop by and get some crepes. Let's see what that's about. And then after that, we do some more exploring. I mean, what else do I need to say? It's a crepe, Nutella, and bananas. It's a given. I expect it to be amazing. Let's find out. Oh, dark chocolate. Yeah, you said dark chocolate. It's pretty good. Notice it's missing a 12 glass of milk. Ew? It's missing strawberries. It's really good. And maybe strawberry. <laughs> but no, it's good. It's really, really good. It's a solid pick. Alright guys, that is it for the South Bank Market. I am filled to the brim. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. I know I enjoyed eating it. Me and Kamal are going to keep it pushing. We have a few more spots we have to squeeze in before the end of the night. I'm out of here guys. Peace. Alright guys, when I started this video I said can I run around and get everything done in 48 hours while being here in London? And I am very, very unhappy to say that I barely got anything done. This trip has been the series of unfortunate events. I will break it down. Number one, Big Ben under construction. Parliament under construction. We came here to get a little bit of food, had a little bit of trouble trying to get to the right places, try to get to the Camden Market. Unfortunately, that was closed by the time we got there. But don't worry, we made the best of the situation. We came here to the market to get a little bit of food, and we did that. And right after that, we're gonna end the night at the London Eye to see the beautiful, beautiful city from the top of the Ferris wheel. As you can see, we're out here, and I have even more bad news for you. For some reason, they are closed early. So I am very, very <laughs> delighted to let you guys know that on every attempt that I have made during this trip, I have failed on all cylinders, but that's okay. Because I'm young, 
I'm alive, I'm here for Sneaker Con, I'm gonna go ahead and do the job. I got to see a little bit of the city, I ate a little bit of their food, and that is about it. Thanks for checking this out. I don't even know if I have anything to show you. <laughs> Hopefully we make something happen. I can't promise anything. Welcome to the vlog of Unfortunate Events. This is Anderson Blue. I'm gonna go cry into the river over there. I'll see you guys in a few. Peace. Yo, yo, what's going on everybody? Anderson Blue, and as you can see, we are at SneakerCon London. This is my first time here. Really, really, really excited to walk around, see what they have. If you've been watching the vlogs and the videos, you would have seen that these last few have been pretty busy. So, we're gonna be proactive. We're gonna walk around early, try to show you guys what they have today. I'm really excited. I have a lot, a lot of stars in your booths. The one I'm really excited to check out is the NBA booth. So, Without further ado, we're gonna walk around and see what we can find. Let's go, guys. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Right now, I'm at Dishonor, and I'd like to introduce you to somebody new. Can you please introduce yourself to the people? Hi, guys, I'm Chris. I'm the founder and owner of Dishonor, and uh, it's great to be here at SneakerCon. So, please tell us what we have here. I'm seeing a little bit of sneakers, a little bit of clothes. Tell me a little bit about the brand. So the brand is, is a utilitarian sportswear. It's all, it's all black, it's all monochrome. Okay. So it's like blacks, whites, and grays. Mm -hmm. And the trainers that we have and the accessories, um, they, they go alongside that. So it's it sort of sit in line with that sort of monochrome, utilitarian fashion sports. Yeah. How long you guys been running? A year. Cool, you got a brand new, brand new. Your first sneaker con? We started last year at SneakerCon. So this awesome. is our like sort of anniversary. Awesome. Dope, dope, dope. What's one of your favorite products that you guys have? So, We've got the new classic shorts, okay. the new signature logo. That's, these are like premium quality technicals. Uh -huh. So you can, they're an everyday wear, but you can wear them in the gym, mm -hmm. on the beach, oh. any, anytime. Cool. Where can the people find you? Dishonorlondon.com. And uh, nope, go ahead. Yeah, and on Instagram, Dishonorlondon. Awesome. Make sure you guys follow them. Um, really liking the stuff, really lo loving the simple design, the simple colorways. My favorite pretty much would be the dad hats. I'm always in dad hats. I love the pink one. And what's it say in, uh, is this Chinese or Japanese? Japanese? That's Chinese and it's, and it's disowned. Make sure you follow them guys to see some more dope stuff. Yo man, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you man, appreciate Thank you. you. All right guys. I found another awesome piece of work, artwork for the sneaker community that I had to show you guys from out here. You guys are from France? Yes. Got it. So we have we have two people from France. We have Alex and Kevin from Pick Sellers. Kamali, please show their awesome artwork. Also, you guys wave from the camera, please. Yeah. How you guys doing? <laughs> so, I really love your artwork. I love what you guys are doing. Take me back Thank to you. like my, all my favorite cartoons and stuff like that. <laughs> Which one is one of your favorite pieces? For the box, maybe uh, the last one, the Sonic one, mm -hmm. because we want to mix uh, the forest gun. Okay. You know the movie? Like Sonic, uh, you're running fast. You do the got it. So, what they have is they have Sonic wearing the Forrest Gump Cortez. I'm not sure the number, but it's the Cortez Nike sneakers. It makes so much sense because Forrest Gump is known to run, so why not with Sonic? Obviously. So, like I said, I love what they're doing. They have artwork and keychains. How can the people find you guys? Uh, we have a, an Etsy shop for the moment. Okay. And on Instagram, you can ask us for uh, commissions, okay. for example, or events. We okay. are responding quickly. Awesome. So like she said, they're available for commissions. They sell the artwork. You can find them on their Etsy page under Pick Sellers. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Go on the Etsy, find them at Pick Sellers. Alex, thank you thank very you. much. Kevin, thank you very much. I love the artwork. Thank you. And look who made it to SneakerCon. No other than the NBA. As you can see, they have an entire build out. Looks like I'm standing in a basketball court. You cannot go wrong with the classic Mitchell and Mitch jersey. Pippin 33, classic. I don't know about you guys, I don't know if you guys prefer these kind of jerseys or new tech ones. I know for me, I'm all about the classic, the throwback look. But yeah, man, they have a lot of fire over here. 
I love the entire setup. I like the old school feel. I feel like I'm in a locker room about to, about to ball out. Take me to back in the day if you drop 30 on them, you know. <sighs> I'm old now, so I can't really do it. Yo, I... These 4K, these 4K TVs are crazy, because I swear, I thought they were watching NBA games. I really did. Right now, over here, they're playing the new 2K. 2019? Yeah, 2019. Yeah, 2019. Okay. Yeah. You know, sometimes they do it a little early with the 2020. But yo, but I'm not gonna lie, this looks so real. Come on, guys. You know it can't be sneaker con unless you show some J's. Right over here, we have the stance booth showing some of the socks, matching with the J sneakers. Legit as always. I have not seen those though. It's hybrid over here. So comment below if you know what these are. I have never seen these before. I'm gonna be quite honest. It's like a little bit of a hybrid action we have here. I don't know about you guys. My favorite is the Space Jam Jordans. You cannot go wrong with the silhouette. But over here, of course, it got some heat. All right, guys, we're gonna keep it pushing. See what else we can find. And that is it for this week's video. I know I'll always show you what I'm doing, where I'm going, but I'm happy to get to see this because I'm be honest with you guys, it is all not perfect. It all doesn't work out. And even when I do my own thing, I'm just trying to make the best of the situation and just try to get everything done. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a comment in the comment section. I would love to hear what you guys think. Also, if you have not yet, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so close to 1,000 subscribers. So if you have not yet, please 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 subscribe and meet the world to me i'm working really hard to give you guys some of the best content out we have more 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 content coming your way all right guys i'm anderson blue i'm about to head out peace